Hi everybody and welcome to the next in this series of screencasts on programming for psychology and vision science. So in this screencast we're going to be looking more at drawing stimuli to the window and we're going to be looking in particular at this kind of stimulus called a grating. So our objectives from this screencast, you should be able to generate and display grating as stimulus and you should also be able to understand and manipulate some of the key grading parameters. So we're going to look at phase, spatial frequency, orientation and contrast. Finally, you should also be aware of different ways how we can mask our stimuli when we draw them and we're going to use that um, in, as we draw our, our gratings. Okay, so to start we'll, we'll switch to um, spider as usual. So I've got a, a blank window here ready to go. So in this screencast we're going to be looking at gratings. So these are a, a very important uh, class of stimulus in vision research and fundamentally they're created from oscillations in luminance over space. So these oscillations are, are typically uh, sinusoidal and we call these sinusoidal gratings. So they're quite a, a flexible stimulus and they have a, a number of um, parameters that are, that are easily manipulated which makes them quite a, a useful class of stimuli. So let's have a look at how, how we can create these in Python and PsychoPy. So first let's see what happens when we use the mostly default parameters of a um, functionality called grading stim. So first we'll start by putting together our um, PsychoPy code as usual. We'll open a window Four hundred pixels by four hundred pixels. Yeah, this is in in pixels, and we don't want it to be full screen at the moment. Okay, so now we're going to make our grating. As I said, this is through the grating stim, it's telling us about our window. Also want to specify things in pixels and we're going to give it a size of 150 by 150 pixels. Okay, so as you know we have this draw um, function attached to these um, psychopi stimuli. Now, as you also know, we need to flip the window before we can see what we've drawn. And we're going to wait for the user to press a key before finishing up. Okay, so now if we save this and run it, we can see our grating, except I've made an error there. I've forgotten to do wait keys. Let's save it and run it again. Okay, so now you can see this is the kind of the, the default grating that PsychoPy gives you. So as you can see, it's a, a square stimulus where the luminance intensity goes from low or black at the left edge through to white in the middle, back to black at the right edge. So overall this change in luminance intensity as you go from left and left to right follows a, a sine wave profile. So what we're going to do now is go through some of the key arguments that are used to, ch to change the properties of such grading stimuli. So the first one we're going to look at is called phase. So this parameter controls the relative positioning of the light and the dark regions of the grating. So in PsychoPy, this is specified as a value between 0 and 1. So what we're going to do now is put together some code which is going to show four different gratings. And we're going to have the, the four different gratings have different phase values. Just so we can see what effect this phase parameter has. So what we're going to do is make the gratings a little bit smaller just to accommodate having uh, four of them. We're going to set up um, a list that's going to include our vertical position of each grating. So I'll we'll have the first one at 150 pixels, then 50, then minus 50, then minus 150. Now we're going to have a list that's going to tell us the phase of each of these gratings. So we're going to have 0, 
0 0.16, 0 0.33, and 0 0.5. Okay, so we're going to loop over these gradings. So for I phase in range 4, now we're going to set the gratings phase to be grating phase I phase. So essentially what we're saying is for this particular grating specified by I phase, look in the list grating phase and pick out the appropriate value, set that as the phase of the grating. So we'll also update the position while we're here because we want it to um, show the gratings in um, four separate vertical positions. So the horizontal position will set at zero, so it's in the center, and the vertical position will get by looking up this list grating vpos with i phase as the index. Okay, so now what we want to do is while we're within this loop, we want to have this draw command. Okay, so now if we save that and run it, Okay, so now we can see our four gratings with the different phase values. And what you can see is that as we um, go, go down, you can see that the position of the, you can think of the lightest region, moves horizontally. So in the middle here, shifts a bit here, shifts more, and then shifts all the way on down the bottom. So by the time we've got to phase of 0 0.5 down the bottom here, it's exactly um, reversed the luminance profile that we see up here in the top. Okay, so that's phase. So we're going to move on to another parameter now called spatial frequency. And this parameter specifies the number of cycles of the grading, so the number of oscillations, over some unit of distance. In Scikit-Pi, if we're using uh, units of pics, so pixels, this uh, spatial frequency is in units of cycles per pixel. So what we do want to do, we don't want to draw uh, four of these anymore. So we'll just clear this and we'll reinstate our larger grating and go here. So now what we want to do is set the spatial frequency. So this parameter is called SF. So we want it to have uh, five cycles. So set grating SF equals five cycles over the course of our 150 pixel size. All right, so now if we save it and run it, you can see that now we've got a grading where we have these five um, cycles of oscillation. Okay, so the next parameter we're going to look at is called orientation. So this controls, if you like, the tilt of the grading. So the gradings we've been looking at so far are all vertical because the, the bars, if you like, are aligned in a vertical orientation. So in Psychopi, we specify the orientation of units of degrees. So zero is vertical and increasing angles are increasingly clockwise. So let's have a look at this. Again, we're going to make our gradings a little bit smaller because we're going to draw many of them. We'll keep our spatial frequency at five um, cycles. Now we're going to set up a list with our orientations. So we're going to start at vertical. I'm going to go 45 degrees, 90 degrees, and 135 degrees. Now we're going to draw these horizontally. So we're going to set up another list with the horizontal position. Start with minus 150, then minus 50, plus 50, plus 150. Now we're going to loop over our gratings for our grating in range 4. Now we're going to set the orientation, this is by the ORI parameter of the grating, equals our orientations list, and we want the current grating in the loop. Also want to set its position to be this grating, and we want to draw the grating within our loop. Okay, so again we can save it and run it. And you can see that I've, I've made a mistake here. So where have I made my mistake? Okay, so the position, so we want 
this to specify the horizontal position, but the vertically we want it to be centered, so I have it vertically zero. Okay, so now if we save it and run it, now we have our four gradings. Now why is that not showing us uh, five cycles? This is because when I'm specifying the spatial frequency, it's still with our 150 sized gradings. So I can make that a bit smaller again and run it. Okay, so now we have our five cycles in each of the gradings and you can see that the gradings have change orientation. So from vertical through to a right tilted oblique, through horizontal, through a left tilted oblique. So in this previous example, when we change the orientation of the grading, we also change the shape of its region. So if we have another look, you can see as well as the bars changing, you have an, all, an overall change in the shape of the region in which the bars are drawn. So what we're going to look at now is this idea of masking, where we can change the visibility of a grading within its um, individual region. So one common mask is a, a Gaussian, which we can set by using the, the mask argument and setting it to be Gauss. So what we'll do is add a command grading.mask equals, and this is a string, Gauss. Okay, so if we save that and run it, you can see that how, our, how the gradings are drawn has changed quite um, markedly. So instead of being within these square or tilted square um, regions, now we have a, a Gaussian that's sort of ramping the visibility of the grating away from the center. Okay, so another common mask we can use is a, a circle. So we can do this by instead of having Gauss, instead using the string circle. Now if we save it and run it, you can see again we're changing the visibility of the, um, the grating, but now rather than a, a very smooth fall off that we had with the Gaussian, now we have this hard uh, circular aperture. Okay, so the final parameter we're going to consider is what we're calling uh, contrast. So this is something that's going to range between 0 and 1, and you can think about it as the, the magnitude of the difference between the intensity of the highest and lowest areas in the grating. So we're going to have a look at, the, at an example of this by changing, rather than changing orientation, we're going to change contrast. So we're going to set up a list with multiple contrasts from 0 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.8. Okay, so now for each grating, rather than changing the orientation via ORI, we're going to change the contrast via contrasts. Okay, so now if we save it and run it, you can see that now we have these four gradings, now they have the same orientation, but as you move from left to right, you can see this change in the contrast. So the change in the, in the intensity of the light and dark regions is larger over here than it is over here. So this is a change in contrast. Okay, so just to go back to our objectives, so now we know how we can generate and display these grading stimuli using the PsychoPy functionality grating stim. And we've looked at some of these key grading parameters, the phase, the spatial frequency, the orientation, and the contrast. And we've also had a look at the different ways we can mask stimuli. So these Gaussian and uh, circular masks. Okay, I'll see you in the next screencast.